uh, YouTube friend, what's he called? Um, uh, Metallica Tamba Magnet, <laughs> who lives in the USA. Uh, he's asked me to show how to draw a gecko, so we're going to need pencils. This is my nice uh, Mars Lumograph pencil. This is going to be a, a 4B that uh, Stadler kindly sent me to use uh, in, on drawing school and, and and a pen as well uh, but we're going to start off we've got to, got to do a plan um, and now gecko you're going to want to start with a kind of a mm, wide big wide ellipse like that that's going to be his body and a circle at the end for his head and then the head will then need a kind of a pointy bit like that and then this will go off into a tail kind of like like that okay um, I'm just looking for all my references eh? that I've been working on <laughs> right. now uh, that's that's pretty good so you're going to want an eye there you're kind of looking up at it on the wall we don't know and you want a kind of a, a, a an, an eye shape just over the top there and then this will curl over like that and a little mouth that should do it and now the legs they kind of do the opposite to each other so so if we do this here and you put lines out like that so you get an M and then you do the opposite here and you get a W okay put a ball on the end of each one like that and then go one two three four five so put one straight ahead two behind and then fit the middle ones in the middle so one straight ahead two going behind and then split in the middle of those one going straight ahead two behind and split the angles on that you can put little circles on the end just to guide you to remind you to put things on there and then we can get straight to work to drawing in ink and I think you could start right the way down here oh that's the wrong pen it's the wrong pen ah ah picked up the wrong one let's try hang on here we are <laughs> start down at this end and follow all the way along and this goes over the top okay so so this is at the front and the, and the other legs are at the back a bit this will come here and you want that bump for this for the eye that's behind and then do that with a little bit behind there um, and then a big circle for the eye put a bit of white in there and then shade that in now leave it like that for the moment now the nearest thing to you is going to be its legs so Let's pencil these in a bit. Make these kind of fatter and kind of coming down into the into that into the circle, the ball of the arm, kind of like that. Okay. Uh, I'm quite planned that enough, I don't. There we go. Right. This will now come down here, up, round. Now, not all geckos have these kind of balls at the end of the feet. Somehow, cut in a Glory kind of feet it depends we don't get geckos in England where I live we have a few lizards that uh, live outside but we certainly don't have lizards coming inside at all or geckos so but uh, but I've lived in places where you do get geckos and I've seen them so I'm just doing one that has these kind of round sticky feet on the end like that and that will come in underneath now here then you just come just kind of follow all around the outsides of, uh, of, of this kind of plan that you've made like that and back again and uh, across like that and one behind and, there, and that's basically your, your gecko. Now, to give him some pattern, if you draw kind of little things, I'm sure, you know, where, I don't know where you're watching this in the world. You maybe got a gecko on your ceiling or on your wall right now staring at you. So uh, I'm sure everybody has different patterns. But if you just want a kind of a, a gecko-y kind of pattern, then I think 
this kind of works quite well. Um, you know, there's millions of different types and styles, aren't there? And then a few spots as well, and then you can just colour in the different different things. Good. So that's now should be dry because we're using permanent pen. I'm using permanent pen. You don't have to use permanent pen. But if you're not using permanent pen, make sure it is dry before you rub it out. Otherwise, it's going to smear all over the place. I use permanent pen so I can do this quickly on on these movies. So uh, you maybe want to put a bit of a bit of shading in because he's he's kind of up on the wall, isn't he? And. Uh, so that will come in along the tail there as well. And this is uh, my shading. I maybe I kind of make it look easy, but it, I've been doing these kind of little lines that I'm making for years and years and years. And it's practice. You just have to be brave and do it. And then the next time you get better, and you know your pen goes to where you want it to. Uh, something like that and there we go I think that's it there's a gecko hope you like that um, keep coming back to the shoe rainer drawing channel on YouTube or visit my own website where you can see these videos at school that's uh, www.shoe-rainer.com shoe-rainer.com and uh, you should be able to see these in school uh, or libraries and you know behind nanny filters um, and keep coming back for more drawings. Uh, do a video response, win books, subscribe, win books, and uh, have a good time. <laughs> I'll see you for the next drawing. Okay, be good. Bye.